So let's talk about the Cortex-M instruction set. So before 1995, ARM processors used to use a 32-bit instruction set called the ARM instruction set. So this instruction set was really powerful and provided really good performance, but at the same time, it required larger program memory when compared to 8-bit and 16-bit processors. This was an issue because memory was and still is expensive, and it also consumed a lot of power. So in 1995, ARM introduced the 16-bit thumb instruction set. At this time now, ARM started supporting on their processors both the ARM instruction set and the thumb instruction set. This was because the 16-bit thumb instruction set could do most of the functionality, but not everything. So there were still some things that needed to be coded in the 32-bit ARM instruction set, which is why ARM had to support both. But the 16-bit thumb instruction set, it provided really good code density when compared to other processors running only 32-bit instruction sets. The downside, though, was the impact on performance because there were these two types of instruction sets, 16-bit and 32-bit, that the processor had to handle. So in 2003, ARM introduced the Thumb2 instruction set. So the Thumb2 instruction set has both 32-bit thumb instructions as well as 16-bit thumb instructions. So in this way, ARM was able to keep the excellent code density of the thumb instruction set as well as the performance of the 32-bit instruction set. So you'll see most of the Cortex-M processors these days only support thumb instructions, which is the thumb 2 instructions. And this is the case even with our processor, which is the Cortex-M4, it only supports the thumb 2 instruction set and does not support the ARM instruction set. This is also true for the M3 and M7 processors. For the M0 and M0 Plus processors, they partially support the 32-bit thumb instruction set, but they fully support the 16-bit thumb instruction set. Another really useful thing to know is what is the data size definitions in ARM processors. So in ARM processors, a byte is considered as 8-bit, a half word is considered as 16-bit, a word is considered as 32-bit, and a double word is considered as 64-bit. So now that you know a little bit about the ARM instruction set and the Thumb2 instructions, we'll be talking about some of the instructions in the later lectures.